ghost stories are incredibly intriguing. That's why they've been told for as far back as history goes. Every culture in every corner of the world has some version of them, and most of these tales typically take place during the nighttime hours. But imagine checking out the new video camera on your phone and seeing someone's face flash across the screen. Or what would you do if you saw a person running along the road who suddenly just disappeared? Every now and again, in the middle of broad day, some of the spookiest occurrences can take place. So today, we'll take a look at seven scary daylight ghosts that baffled experts. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Number 7. A few months ago out in Long Island, New York, another strange ghost was captured on camera. Joey Nolan and his wife were away from home one day after recently learning that their beloved house cat was sick. So they decided to check the live stream of their at-home security footage just to make sure everything was okay. And this is what they saw. Just a few mere seconds into the video, you can see there, on the right side of the screen, the ghost of a person walking into the living area. And what's even more is the fact that this human ghost appears to be accompanied by the ghost of a dog. And that may not even be the spookiest part of the story. Joey Nolan's dad had died 20 years to the day prior to this footage being captured. And not only that, but Joey and his wife, a few weeks before this video was taken, had very similar dreams about a dog on the exact same night. Is it possible that this ghost dog had somehow found its way into the subconscious minds of both of his or her owners? Now, before we're able to get back into today's topics, I've got to show you this image that was recently sent in to the team. And I've got to say, this is one of the weirder things we've ever seen. While posing outside of a wedding one summer day, this image was taken. However, there appears to be an extra person in the picture. Well, technically, half an extra person. Who the heck do you think this could be? And what is the real reason that only half the body is there? And what could absolutely be a ghost captured in broad daylight? We'll let you decide what to believe. Number 6. Queensland's Mystery now, our next story stems from a photograph that was recently captured over in Queensland, Australia. This photo, while albeit a bit grainy, had caused quite a stir online after it was posted to a popular Facebook page called Ghost Chaser. With that kind of title, I'm sure you could gather yourself what type of content the users in this group were looking for, and this image certainly gave them a bunch to talk about. So, check it out. A group of friends gather to take a picture while playing around in the water. The body of water that they're playing in has quite an eerie past, as local folklore speaks of a little girl who drowned in that very same lake more than a hundred years prior, and some say that the spirit of the girl still haunted the lake to this day. But if you look here in the red circle, this person, or whatever it is, wasn't in the shot when the camera was snapped but it just appeared among the rest of the images once the photo was developed. What could that be? Whatever it is, it certainly doesn't look human, and the users on Ghost Chaser called it everything from a paranormal being to the spirit of the drowned girl to even an alien. But what do you think this is all about? A glitch in the camera? Or is that really the unsettled spirit of that poor little girl? Number 5. The Disappearing Runner this next piece of footage is one of the most bizarre videos that I've ever seen, and it found its way to the internet just a few short years ago. We're not sure where in the United States this took place, but a drone camera is high over the sky, capturing some overhead footage that was supposed to be used for B-roll. The camera actually finds a guy or girl out for a nice jog along the side of the road, and at first, the person is simply walking. After a few moments, however, they pick up the pace and appear to be moving along in a dead sprint. But just a second after that, just long enough for them to transition into running, something crazy happens. Check it out. What the? That jogger just disappeared into thin air in broad daylight, no less. What do you think could have happened? Was that runner actually a ghost? Or is there simply some video editing effects being applied? Let us know your best guesses down below and we'll go ahead and move things right along. Number 4. Real Deal? 
So our next featured story of the day doesn't come with a ton of explanation, but it was posted to YouTube about five years ago and dozens of people were freaked out as to what the hell was going on. The only setup that we have is that some folks were hanging out at home one evening when they noticed some very strange activity taking place near one of the bedrooms. The door at the end of the hall appeared to be both opening and closing all by itself. Clearly intrigued as to what was happening, they quickly whipped out their smartphone in order to hopefully capture video of the strange activity that was going on inside of their home. And this is what they saw. The door that is clearly sitting wide open to begin the clip slowly starts to close, yet there's no one on the other side of it pushing it to do so. Could this really be the result of some sort of paranormal being living in their home? Or is this simply a kid in the house trying to pull off a prank? Number 3. Wakefield Cathedral Mark Vernon is an avid and emphatic ghost hunter. Back in 2016, he was tasked with the haunting idea of investigating some paranormal activity that was taking place inside of a cathedral over in Wakefield, and some of the footage that he managed to capture was quite startling. The 11th century church is no stranger to the strange and eeriness that attracts ghost hunters like Mark Vernon and others, with some very historic occurrences dating back all the way to the late 1700s. This video, however, doesn't date back that far, but after 40 minutes of looking around, it does show something very strange. In the video, where you can see a black figure float across the screen, you can also hear a bunch of strange, high-pitched and banging noises, leading many to speculate that something paranormal was certainly taking place here. While the ghostly figure passes over the camera, if you listen closely, according to Vernon, you can hear the words, I'm here, supposedly spoken by the ghostly being. I've got to say, if there's one place I'd almost expect to see a ghost, it's inside of a church that's been around for hundreds of years. Has anyone from across the pond ever had the pleasure of going inside this cathedral? If you have, then are there cool stories that you'd like to share with the rest of us? Number 2 orbs and a face. So today's special shout out goes to none other than Blade Polo God, who just the other day, after Mr. Polo God was able to catch one of our latest episodes, left us a major comment at the end of the video. So for that, my friend, salute to you. Thanks a lot. And thanks even more for being a part of the Supreme family. Our next video was posted online back in the fall of 2016, and it all went down when a lady was trying to figure out how to work her new phone's video camera. But instead of just catching some video of the inside of her apartment, she caught something much different instead, a series of orbs. Some lighting up and dancing in and out of the shot could be seen. It is widely believed that these orbs are ghostly apparitions, and some even believe that they represent the spirits of people who have passed away. As if these flying particles aren't giving this pair of friends enough to be concerned about, there's something that happens just near the end of the clip that scares them even more. Check it out. What the heck was that? What looks like a face flashes across the screen, scaring the heck out of the two girls watching the phone. Do you think that could have actually been a ghost? Number 1. The Pumpkin Punk So our final story of the day, oddly enough, doesn't feature any real ghosts. However, it did occur around Halloween last fall and it involves one of the more sinister things that I've ever seen in broad daylight. So we're going to include it in today's countdown. In the town of Lawrence, Kansas, over these past few years, there has been a pretty sinister tradition. Neighborhood pranksters have taken it to themselves to destroy and sometimes even steal local families' Halloween decorations. Yeah, people are out there doing some very crazy things nowadays, folks. Many houses actually made the decision to just stop decorating for that holiday at all. Chris Leisler, however, is one person who decided to just keep pushing through with his own holiday decorations. But this time around, he made sure to purchase a security camera to keep an eye on all his hard work. And what did he see? Well, take a look. None other than this dude who goes all the way up to Leisler's front porch, grabs his festive pumpkins, and absolutely destroys them, all on his security cam. The punk then runs off after committing such a rude act in broad daylight, shouting, let's go, as he runs away. 
No word on whether or not the pumpkin decimator was even apprehended, but hopefully this coming season doesn't see a similar result. And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.